YouTube, what's going on? Kangaroo here back with another Warzone 2 video dedicated for the third person game mode. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the best settings to use for Warzone 2.0 third person if you are brand new to third person shooters. Now if you're brand new to third person shooters, I promise by the time this video is over, you're going to have a edge over the competition of what's out there for third person. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to do if you're going to start playing third person is go into your settings onto the graphics tab and you're going to come over here to view and you're going to crank your third person field of view up to 90 i believe the default is like 80 so just crank that up as high as it can go the second thing you're going to want to do is go back into your settings and under the controller section we're going to go over to the advanced tab and we're going to come all the way down to custom sensitivity per zoom you're going to turn this on okay this is very important you're going to click show more and now for your ads sensitivity multiplier on low zoom i'm going to recommend to put this on 0.75 this is what 0.75 looks like i ads now let me go ahead and crank that back up to the default on one and i'm going to show you why you want this on so i'm going to crank it all the way up to one now it's moving a lot faster and you're not gonna get much of an accurate shot. So if you want high sensitivity, just have your default sensitivity because when you're trying to acquire a target right here, you're not gonna wanna do all this. You're gonna want to minimize any movement and instead put that sensitivity, I recommend starting it out on 0.75. If that seems a little too slow for you, bump it up. But these are gonna be very simple settings to start with if you're brand new to third person and you wanna dive into Warzone. So, once you got those situated, we're going to go over the single most important aspect of the third person mode, and that is going to be the shoulder swap. I cannot stress enough how important this is. And one of the mistakes I see a lot of newer third person players do is they'll go up to a corner up here on the left, but instead of being shoulder swap to the left, I see them running up to the corner, shoulder swap to the right, which is going to make them have to turn a lot more to see an enemy where as opposed let's say you come into this left corner on left shoulder view right you come over here you got an edge you got an edge you can track enemies as they're going through here right as opposed here let's say there's a enemy coming right through here you're not going to know he's there until the crosshairs he already sees your line of, he already sees your line of body and he's going to get first shots on you so running up on the corner you want to make sure you are shoulder swapped on the left side now for the right side obviously another example you want to run up to this right corner you don't want to run up like this okay look at look how much you got to turn just to see around that corner you want the right shoulder swap you can track enemy as they come through right boom next i want to go over a tactical advantage movement that you absolutely need to be doing let's say you're running out in the open you're taking some shots right what you're going to do is you're going to hold the crouch button so that you can dive, right? You can dive. Now, what you want to do quickly, as soon as you hit the ground, you want to hit the shoulder swap button, which is going to make you stand back up. So it's going to look like this. Boom, I'm up. I'm running still, right? Boom, hit shoulder swap. And I can't tell you how hard enough this is to hit. So when you get this movement down, I'll just practice it hit the ground you're gonna hit the shoulder swap button which is gonna make you stand up now if you want this movement to be a little more automatic where you can jump up and just start sprinting right away the simple thing you're gonna do is go over to settings again go over to controller and again you're gonna go over to the advanced tab and under movement behaviors you're gonna go ahead and set this to automatic tactical sprint now this says toggle but in the main menu you're going to be able to turn this on completely and that's actually going to wrap it up for this video if you've enjoyed this video if you got any value out of it go ahead give this video a like drop a comment down below and make sure you subscribe for more third person tutorials on warzone 2 there's going to be a lot more videos come out so again thank you for the early support and let's go ahead and let's start hitting those 20 bombs